Good morning from Echo Bay. Yeah, I'm back at Echo. Uh, it's, it's like five o'clock, I just got in the water. I'm gonna, well, today's gonna be like really windy, so it's gonna be windy later, but I don't trust weathermen. Um, I'm gonna hang out in the bay here. You can't see anything because it's dark. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna trawl around here. Maybe go out if it's not really windy. This thing right here, this MK, Predator MK, it's probably going to be what I'm going to take to Willow next time because the stripers are a ways from Willow and this is this the, this is the kayak to get there. Uh, nothing against the autopilot, I love the autopilot, but it's kind of about as aerodynamic as a rock so any kind of wind or current it really slows it down. This thing just cuts right through it things a rocket so yeah I just got to figure out which you know I I landed many many a large striper out of my predator PDL so it's just kind of you know I got spoiled with having a, a freaking patio on the autopilot and get up and walk around but uh yeah if I want to if I want to go after a big striper I'm gonna have to take this I don't have to, but it just makes sense to when you got a much faster boat. It's just as stable, just so long as you're not getting up and, you know, you're not going to get up and walk around on this thing. You can stand up in it, but, you know, you're not going to be walking around like you can in the in, uh, autopilot. But, yes, there, there you go. That's my plan. But, uh, yeah, stick around. It's dark right now, but it won't be for long. All right, I'm on my third fish of the day here. caught one right after I got in the water. I caught another one about 10 minutes ago and now it's actually getting light enough to see what the heck is going on out here. There he is. That's a nice one. Yeah. He felt nicer than that, but skunk number uh, number three of the day already. All right, I'm a couple a couple miles north of Echo. And here's some stuff I haven't seen in a while. Echoes. Oh. Just beyond that point right there. But, uh, there's a cove up here. It's called Pump House Cove. It's right around this corner. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn around and head back into the bay. A friend of mine, James Morata, is out there. He works in Alaska. He was uh, camping close to the, well not on the launch, but uh, close to the launch. So I launched from a different place. I didn't know it was him. Uh, I saw a tent and I opted for a different launch site. But I'm gonna head back that way. It's getting a little, a little choppy, but it's not bad at all gonna get really bad today so be off the water probably probably by 10 no later than 11 I've got I've already got uh, four four fish three or four fish just doing a tour giving you guys a photo tour Overton arm Okay, I got something, and I don't know what it is, but it's over here. I lost him. 
Oh, sucky suck. I really suck. Oh well. There will be more. Maybe not today, but there will be more. Okay, I'm back in the bay. There's glass in here. Absolute glass. It's amazing. These canyon walls are freaking awesome at blocking wind. It's not, it's not like by any stretch bad out in the channel out there, but it's not like this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say this. Um, I opted for the ridiculously steep launch ramp this morning because this guy was camping up here on the hill by the launch and I didn't want to pull in there with my bright lights and, you know, wake him up. Turned out to be a friend of mine, James Murata. But I will tell you that that handy dandy boat launch right there, to me, the juice is not worth the squeeze because there's people build bonfires there and there's all kinds of screws and nails and there's a bunch of big rocks in the in the water so it's really hard to get the kayak in and out of the water where over there on the steep launch i just roll it down the ramp like willow but uh this isn't bad the um the autopilot it's a uh, it's a little different i got to take a couple breaks pulling it back up the hill but like i said i'm in the i'm in the mighty mk today and i'm definitely definitely getting to know this thing getting to like it uh it's been well before i got this i hadn't been in a predator in about six months so i got really really used to uh the stability of the autopilot and i had to make a couple adjustments to this to get it to be as stable as i like it to be and uh i i'd gotta say i would not hesitate to take this thing down river and i'm more than likely gonna take it down river when i'm on vacation next week because it just it's fast so it'll get me out of trouble faster than I got into it and it doesn't it burns even less electricity on the battery than the autopilot does you, you, you're using like right now I'm going almost two miles an hour and I'm on I'm under setting one and there's fishies on my fish finder. Let's see if anything's going to happen here. If I keep jammering on, something might happen. But, uh, yeah. I'm about done. It's 9.20. I got four or five fish. I got some underwater footage. Uh, I just, I got a new camera. I dropped it down there, and I swear I saw a crappie looking right at it. Um, the water temperature down at like 30 feet is 49 degrees. So it, it's got to come up a little bit before things, you know, before the crappy bite really turns on. All right, I'm done for the day. It's 10, 12, and the marina is right there. Or the dock is right there. I got four stripers. No crappy. And I got some underwater video that I want to look at when I get home. So you guys know the routine. Like and subscribe if you would. Give it a share. Greatly appreciate it. And next stop, probably going to be Willow Beach in five days. So. See you next time. Thanks for watching.